looked like Bobrovsky was Bob tonight, as sharp as he's been all year. Would you concur with that? Yeah, third period especially. Yeah. I, I thought we, uh, not many chances through the first two. Both teams are pretty tight there. Third period, uh, he looked real sharp. There are always things you can clean up, of course, but is this the kind of effort from your team that you would like to bottle? Well, we, we probably played our, uh, our best game away from the puck uh, out of the first, uh, how many have we played now, 12? Easily, um, 30 block shots, 27 hits. Um, I'm not so sure those stats sometimes get skewed, but uh, I think we had the right attitude tonight and, uh, and the right style of play. And you seem to be frustrating them with your sticks as well. What, what does really that tell you sticks. about the way your team played? Yeah, we had good sticks. We were just more alert away from the puck. Uh, uh, we've, we've done a lot of talking and meetings the past couple of days about we're not going to be a safe team. Uh, we don't want to be a safe team. But that doesn't mean you can't play uh, above the puck when we don't have it. Uh, uh, a lot of our offense comes from being above the puck. And in transition, when we stop teams before they get to our blue line, because we have back pressure. So, uh, yeah, all in all, I thought everybody contributed. To, uh, Bob stood in their third period when they kind of ramped it up on us, and it's just a natural instinct. You got to you, you sit back a little bit, but uh, uh, that's a good team win. The three to one goal ended up being really big for you. The way, the way that the Nick game was it Nick's goal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just the way that the game ended. Yeah, some yeah. Insurance there. Yeah, we have a couple of empty nets that we could just put the puck in the net, but we decide not to. And um, yeah, but all in all, I, I, I uh, that, and that's a really good hockey team that's playing really well. And uh, uh, quite honestly, we could have, uh, although we didn't have a lot of shots in the third period, we had three or four great chances. And their goalie stood in there. So uh, yeah, it's it's a good game to start the trip, and um, it's it's a good game that we can show them things. On, on what we need to do to be successful. So hopefully we'll continue. John, you just referenced this, but you didn't win the lion's share of shots, but the scoring chances you got were really high quality. Yeah. What does that say to you? Yeah, it, it, after two periods, I think the chance was like 10 to six. Us, they, they didn't have many. Uh, I, I just, I thought we did a much better job in the third period. Uh, when they score their goal, we're kind of standing around in the blue, just trying to poke at the puck. I, I thought we did a much better job in our third period because the puck was there a lot, bouncing around, just trying to take bodies out and and, and be more diligent there. So, uh, yeah, the, the checking part of the game was much better tonight in all three zones. Have you seen more of the Josh Anderson that you want to see on a regular basis in these last four or five games? He's getting there. Yeah, it, it, the thing with Andy is... Uh, um, you got to come back and do it again. And, and that's where I think he's improved this year, Bobby, is where uh, he's been receptive to uh, some of the video that we've shown him. Uh, I think he's worked at, at how we want him to play. He has so many abilities uh, and, and, and just what he can bring with his physical play uh, because he gets there all the time with his legs. It's such an important part of his game. I think he had eight hits tonight, uh, went after some pretty big people out there. Uh, that's a huge part of his game, and uh, yeah, and he's getting rewarded. He's in all. He's killing penalties on a power play. Uh, he's doing playing four on four tonight. Uh, he's getting rewarded, so hopefully it'll continue. Nick said something this morning about uh, you know hard work having to be there with the talent. The talent's here mm -hmm. on the roster, but you got to have that hard work with it. Is is Duclair maybe the epitome of that? You know where he's just got that high end talent, but when the work's there, he lets it come out. Yeah, you know. Uh, past couple of games other than tonight's game I, I can't find him as far as intensity uh, and that's why he's not on a power play uh, he, he's got he's got a, he, he has no rope none uh, as far as uh, how he has to play uh, it goes that whole line really has very little rope as far as I'm concerned right now and I thought they played really well tonight and um, yeah so it's one game though uh, that's the thing it, just don't let it get good to you and uh, you know, uh, I, I can see the warts on Duke. I can. We're going to spend a lot of time with him trying to scrape him off because we think he's worth it. You know, we think there's such a high end that that's there. We're going to help him one way or another. We're going to help him uh, to try to get there because I think it'd be very important to our club.